And you'll find a uh, similar kind of settlements throughout uh, Ireland. They are monasteries or monastic sites from the early Christian times. Uh, basically, this dates from the time when St. Patrick uh, is said to have come to Ireland. You've probably all heard of St. Patrick, uh, 17th of March, St. Patrick's Day. And in various places throughout the world now, uh, people go mad to celebrate Ireland. Christianity into Ireland. And it marks the start of written history in Ireland. And this was in the year 432 AD. So a long, long time ago. Written history from that time. Before that we can say a lot about what happened in the Irish countryside. And close to here, if, you have, if you're in Ireland and uh, staying for a long while and you have time, it is a place called Newbridge. Now, um, Britain, you know, it's, it's one of the oldest uh, kind of uh, monuments in the world. 
so definitely you know, we're going to see it. But all the things in this time, you know, we can only guess at the purpose of new grades and we're going to work things out from archaeology and things we found in the countryside. Written history began in 432. And it's said that St. Patrick, who had been here as a child, as a, as a kind of shepherd, he'd been captured to work as a shepherd in the countryside, he escaped and he had a dream that it was his job to convert Ireland to Christianity. And after learning more and more about Christianity in France, he returned to Ireland in 432 and spread the message of Christianity. Now one of the things he did was he used the shamrock, that three-leaf flower that you see all over everything in Ireland now is one of our symbols. And he did more and more about Christianity. He was saying the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit, the, the three were one. Uh, and this flower was three leaves but still one flower. And he used this to explain the concept uh, uh, to the people of Ireland. And, uh, Sir Patrick, you know, is credited with really convert. He went to the Hill of Tower in County Mead that we talked about earlier, and he convi convinced the kings, and eventually he managed to convince more and more people to spread his message of Christianity throughout Ireland. And it was during this early Christian time that the monastery began. And the one we're going to see now in uh, Monastery Bells is quite nice because it's not as a uh, commercialized, but it's now near the monasteries to kind of take advantage where the lots of pilgrims coming uh, to the sites. Now this one here, Monaster Boys, is kind of two of the best high crosses. These are high crosses, but I think we're just about 10 minutes old here. It's about to be So if you do need to use the toilet facilities, they are the left in this uh, little uh, white building. And the